Hello. Can you guess where I am today? I'm deep down under the ground. You know, we humans aren't really made for going under the ground. It's hard work being a miner, even with today's special machines. It's dark down there, so miners need lights to help them find their way about. And they have to use drills and even gunpowder if they want to tunnel. This little fella knows far more about tunneling than we do. Who is he? He's a mole. The mole has a very sensitive nose to help him find his way underground. And he uses those big, strong front paws for digging. Watch what happens when he's set free. Now, the mole's favorite food is a big, juicy worm. He keeps a whole store of live worms ready for his next meal. Deep in the soil is the safest place for the mole's helpless babies. Here, they're safe from the cold and from the mole's enemies. Nothing beats a lovely, juicy worm for supper. Poor old worms. At this very moment, under my feet, there are hundreds of worms tunnelling through the soil. I'm out here to make a watch wormery so that we can watch worms work. What you need is an empty, clear plastic bottle with the top cut off, like this. And I'm going to fill it with layers of soil and sand so that we can watch the worms. Now, to begin with, I'm going to put in the bottom the sort of soil that you found really down deep. It's where the worms are living now, so they'll feel at home. So, first of all, in goes the bottom layer. There we are. And on top of that, I'm going to put a layer of sand. The worms quite like the sand. Then I'm going to put a layer of this soil, which has come from just under the surface, and it's a bit rougher than the other soil, and that's called topsoil. And that goes in next. And then I'm going to put another layer of sand. Now, on top of that, I'm going to put the sort of things that you find on the surface. Leaves, little plants, because the worms can eat that. And there is our finished wormery. A nice, warm, comfortable home for some worms. There's only one thing missing, we don't have any worms. So I've got Tina and Daniel here to help me find some. Has anybody got any bright ideas about how we can find some worms? If we jump up and down on the ground, the worms might come up. When you jump, the earth shakes and the worms come up to see what's going on. Ah, there's one. There's another one. Daniel was soon busy collecting them. Oh, great. Well, don't hold him too long, because they get very uncomfortable from the heat of your hands. Pop him in then, Daniel. Here, in he goes. Now, oh, we could do with a few more, I think. Has anybody got any more ideas? If the rain comes down, the worms might come up from the ground. When the water runs down the worms' tunnels, they often come up and wriggle in the wet soil. There we are, Tina. Pop him in. Well, I think we've got enough now, don't you? Because it's quite a small bottle. Don't want them too crowded. 
Thank you very much, my expert worm catchers. Now, what we have to do now, can I have the paper, Danny? Is cover the wormery in black paper. Because they like to be in the dark, it makes them more comfortable. And then we leave it damp and dark for about a week. And I've got Louise's wormery here. Can I have a look? Hmm. Remember how it looked when I made it? Layers of soil and sand. Well, now look. The worms have already started a tunnel. By tunnelling up and down, the worms have brought air, water and food down into the soil. And that's what helps the plants and the seeds to grow. So worms are farmers' friends. Now, worms and moles live under the ground most of the time because that's where their food is. But some animals come up to hunt for food. See if you can guess who these are. It's a cold winter's day. Who's breathing down in this hole? Somebody's warm and snug deep in a home underground. Strong feet for tunnelling. And a keen sense of smell. Yes, it's a badger. Badgers live in long tunnels called sets. They have special rooms to sleep in, rather like our homes. They make sure the bedding they bring into their sets is clean and dry, and they change it when it gets dirty. In the evening, they come out to hunt for food, and sometimes they just play. Who's this? This animal has big ears for spotting danger. These long whiskers help her feel her way underground. It's a rabbit. Rabbits dig long tunnels called warrens. There are lots of ways to get in and out. They like to live together in big families. There could be 50 rabbits in one warren. When the mother goes out to find food, she blocks up the opening so hungry foxes can't find her babies. They stay safe and warm underground. A fox. Watch how rabbits warn each other of danger. They stamp on the ground with their strong back legs. That was a narrow escape. <laughs> so now I see why some animals prefer to live under the ground. It's much safer. Mm. But here's a story about one animal who didn't think so. All winter, the mole was snug and warm in his hole, deep in the soil. Spring came. The mole climbed up his tunnel towards the sunlight. How delicious everything smelt. He popped his nose right out of his hole. Oh, this is nice. Oh, how silly I am. Living under the ground. I look for a new home up here. And off he went. Soon he came to a pond. A frog was sitting on a lily pad. Oh, frog? Where is the best home to be found? That's easy. The pond is the best place to live sitting on a lily pad like me and watching the world go by. Why don't you swim across and join me? Oh, uh, oh, oh, it's... Oh, help, it's water. And it's wet. Luckily, the water wasn't deep. And the mole struggled to the edge. As he sat shivering in his wet fur, a swarm of ants came crowding round him. Hello there, mole. What are you doing up here? Why are you all wet? Oh, I'm tired of living under the soil. I'm looking for a new home up here. No, oh, Mole, go back to your hole. It's warm there and the earth is full of food. Go back to where you belong. But the Mole took no notice. Boring little stay-at-homes. You go back to your safe, warm nests. I'm off to find a new home. Soon he came to a tall tree. A little brown sparrow fluttered down. Hello, Mole. What brings you to the foot of my tree? I'm looking for a new home. 
why don't you live in a tree like me? Up there you can see for miles and miles. The mole looked up at the tree. Ooh, it's very high and I can't fly. Maybe a tree isn't for me. In the meadow, he met the rabbits. Well, well, where are you off to, Mole? I'm off to find a new home. The underground isn't for me. Oh, Mole, go back under the earth where you belong. It's safe down there. If danger comes, you see, we can spot it with our sharp eyes. But you, you're almost blind. But the Mole took no notice. Hop off back to your warren. My new home will be far more exciting. Just then, the earth shook and a great black shadow fell over the little mole. The rabbits stamped their strong back legs to warn each other of danger and dived into the safety of their warrens. And the ants scurried off to their nests, crying, oh, a man, a man, quick, oh, quick, get yourself away! But it was too late. A huge, rough hand came down out of the sky and picked him up. The mole wriggled and struggled, but he couldn't get away. A great voice roared. Ah, so you're the one who's been digging up my plants. I'm going to take you far, far away from here, so you can't bother me anymore. But down in the soil, the brave little ants were making a plan. If we all work together, we can help them all. Yes, yes, we can, yes, yes, yes. Some crawled up the man's legs. Some crawled into his shoes, some crawled into his socks and between his toes. How they tickled. The man wriggled and roared and scratched and kicked, but he couldn't get rid of those ants. And at last, he let the mole go. Off scampered the mole, sniffing and snuffling until he found a patch of bare earth. Then, with his strong front paws, he dug and tunnelled and tunnelled and dug until he reached his own Dear underground home. Oh. Later that night, as he tucked into a big, tasty worm from his larder, Mole chuckled to himself. No, 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 silly old me. I spent all day looking for the best home, and here it is all the time, under my very own feet. And he sang a mole song, which went something like this. I'm not a bat or a rat or a cat I'm not a gnu or a kangaroo I'm not a goose or a moose on the loose I am a mole and I live in a hole I bet that mole was grateful to those little ants for saving them. Yes, ants are very good at helping each other out. Talking of teamwork, I needed some help when I was out hunting for mini beasts the other day. This log in the corner of Tina and Daniel's playground may be sheltering some soil animals. You could try turning over some stones and seeing what sort of animals you could find underneath those. Right, let's go for it, shall we? Heave ho! <coughs> Ooh, look. look at them! Fantastic. Oh. What are them? Wow, Look at them. Look at them. And there's a little worm. Oh, what's that? Look at them. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you.